traffic scene could play out in Half Moon Bay in just a matter of days. Check it out. This was the Mavericks surf competition back in 2016, but monster 60 foot waves could make it, as Paul say, a little too dangerous to go forward with the big wave surf competition next week. KPI X 5's Devin Feely is live with what could be some of the largest swells in years along our coast. Devin. Yeah, we didn't get the big waves just yet. We have had a cold, drizzling rain for much of the afternoon, but a lot of people still came out to get a little preview of what Mother Nature had to offer. At Mavericks, the weather was windy and the ocean angry. This is choppy. This is what I would call real choppy. Uh, there's the waves aren't breaking right. They're not rolling in. In other words, it's not good surf which is likely why we found more pelicans riding waves this afternoon than surfers. Uh, what the surfers are going to want is for the wind to die down, but for the storms that are coming in to push a bigger swell. Even from Skydrone 5, we found no sign of the monster waves for which Mavericks is known. Organizers of the annual surf competition say big waves are expected Sunday into next week. Conditions Monday, however, have been ruled out as too dangerous and less than ideal. In the meantime, the promise of big waves brought the curious to the coast, even if they had to settle for the relative calm before this weekend's storms. The strength of it, the, the allure, what's in it. I was up on the cliffs the other day and I looked down and saw a big shark swimming right along the edge of the coast, right along the rocks. What a thrill that was. So just to recap, the big waves are expected to arrive on Sunday. Monday is out. The conditions too dangerous for Mavericks to start on that day, but they will be looking towards uh, days later in the week. Ken. All right. Uh, yeah, Devin, uh, those monster waves expected uh, where the competition is held, and that's actually about two miles offshore. Sometimes hard for people to see that far out, even if they're standing on the coast. Um, and we're hearing this could be record setting uh, have you heard anything about extra emergency crews being brought in for these surfers or extra jet skis or helicopters or anything like that? Yeah, this is a competition that is always dancing on the ragers, razor's edge between what is daring and what is just really just downright dangerous. I have not heard about any uh, plans for extra precautions this year, but, you know, they say that they like to have about 48 to 72 hours before uh, to make that call. So they're looking to make that call really in the next couple of days if the conditions are going to be right. That allows them to get those uh, emergency crews in place and the surfers in place as well. Well, yeah, it'll make it'll make for some amazing natural conditions. All right, Devin Feely along the San Mateo County coast. Thanks, Devin.